Today, we have very special news for you. Before continuing, if you want to support us, just subscribe to our channel. Let's get starting. Russia is transferring 200 trainloads of military equipment to Belarus. Belarusian media resources report that, as of January 21, 2022, 33 trains with Russian military and equipment arrived in Belarus. The average number of cars in one train is 50 units, and the total number of trains with military equipment transferred to Belarus reaches 200. The fact that Russia began to send troops to Belarus for a joint exercise further increased the concerns about the invasion of Ukraine. The exercise called, United Solution, which will be organized by the two countries next month, will take place at a time when tensions rise in Europe and war concerns are experienced. The joint exercise will be held in western Belarus, on the border between Ukraine and NATO members Poland and Lithuania. Before the exercise, images showing the entry of Russian heavy weapons and military equipment into Belarus were shared on social media. It was noteworthy that a large number of tanks and short-range missiles were sent to the country's border with Ukraine. Belarusian Security Council Chairman Alexander Volfovic also said that Russian soldiers have started to deploy in the country. According to the news of the British Guardian newspaper, some military experts state that Russia is preparing to invade Ukraine by sending troops to Belarus. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko said at a meeting with military officials yesterday that Poland and the Baltic states have piled up more than 30,000 soldiers and a large amount of military equipment on the Belarusian border. Noting that there are nearly 10,000 U.S. soldiers on the territory of Poland and the Baltic countries, Lukashenko said, What are the Americans doing here? Why are you approaching us or Russia? Some of them are openly calling for war, he said. Lukashenko, by strengthening the alliance with Russia in the face of the increasing sanctions of the West, abandoned the policy of neutrality regarding Ukraine and supported Russia's annexation of Crimea. Russia, which rejects the claim that it will invade Ukraine, demands that NATO stop its activities in Eastern Europe. While there was no progress in the diplomatic talks between Russia and the USA, NATO and Europe last week, the mutual statements of the parties are getting tougher. German Chancellor Annalena Baerbock said yesterday that she hopes the escalating tension will be resolved through diplomacy, but that Moscow will pay the price for its aggressive actions against Ukraine. It is noteworthy that only 2021 military echelons were involved in the largest Zapod 29 exercises. In practice, this is seven times less than in the upcoming exercises in February. It is known that the exercises will be held on the territory of Belarus for 10 days, however, a huge amount of Russian military equipment, including offensive weapons, has already caused panic in Ukraine and NATO countries.